Hello, Calvary. This is a CCS newscast. My name is Garrison Taylor. And I'm Neil Van Slyke. Seniors, as you get applications from colleges and scholarships from colleges you don't even plan on attending, please send Mrs. Dickens an email of those colleges. I'd get on that if I were you. Also, in order to participate for college in January and enjoy a free breakfast and lunch, you must have applied to at least one of your college options by tomorrow, December 8th. I mean, it's free food. Now on to a short segment about student stress. More than 70% of middle and high school students said that they were often or always stressed by homework, and 56% listed homework as a primary stressor. Do you think the homework you assign is effective in helping students learn? That's what it's intended to do. It depends on if the students actually do that, but it, the homework I assign is intended to get them to learn, yes. Do you see students struggling with the workload in your class? If they procrastinate. Yes, the more they procrastinate, the harder it is to keep up with their workload. Do you think the homework you assign is effective in helping students learn? Yeah, I think so. I think the, for me, for history, the questions that I'm assigning are usually going through the text, and usually all my tests and quizzes are based off the textbook. Do you see your students struggling with the workload in your class? Um, nope. <laughs> um, generally, I think that... Um, I don't think they really struggle. I think that, you know, they need to manage time, maybe perhaps sometimes better. But I usually give some time in class for students to get work done. When interviewing Calvary High School teachers, we learned that their students do fairly well with the homework they assign and that most students are stressed about work when they have poor time management. Welcome to Athletes of the Week with Haley and Madeline. Uh, tell me, would you rather have waffles or pancakes? Um, probably waffles. Pancakes. A little bit of difference. In your opinion, what is the worst flavor of Pringles? The ones that are flavored like pizza. Pizza. Those ones are so bad. Those ones are good. No. Sorry. Not. How much trash talk goes on during a game? <laughs> um, a lot, actually. I just trash talk Haley the whole time. Mm. I just yell at everybody for trash talking. Yeah. She's really bad. That's what Haley is supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> and I am here to give you the Miss Hinkle Award. Thank you. Welcome to Sports News with me, Luke, and Scotty Hyatt. Thursday, we have an uh, Thursday the 8th, we have an archery tournament. On Friday the 9th, there's a boys basketball game at Nicholas, 5 to 9 p.m. Friday the 9th, uh, we have a uh, swim meet at Holy Cross. On Saturday the 10th, there's a boys basketball game at Middletown Christian, 4.30 to 8.30 p.m. Monday the 12th, there's a boys basketball game at Bishop Bossert, 5 through 8 p.m.